Police Minister Peggy Tele and National Police Commissioner General Fanny Mastemola will later this morning receive a full report on the spate of shootings that took place in Gauteng over the weekend. Fifteen people were shot dead at a tavern in Soweto, while two others were killed in Gatlehong. Scores of people were injured in those attacks. Let's take you to our reporter Zikona Chona, who's in Orlando East in Soweto. Zikona, very good morning to you. Yesterday, as we were all trying to make sense of what could have happened, you spoke to several people who detailed the events that led to this tragic incident. In fact, we spoke to some of the patrons that were inside the tavern at the time of the shooting who described what they saw, saying that men entered the tavern and just simply started shooting, um, shooting people that did not take any valuables from any of the patrons that were inside the tavern at the time. Some people saying that they had to lie on the ground to ensure survival. Thereafter, the perpetrators fled the scene, leaving this community in shock and devastated. Fifteen people, as you've mentioned, have been confirmed dead after the tragedy that took place at the local tavern here in Orlando East. I'm outside the home of Dali Wong, I'm Luma, 54 years old. He's one of the patrons that was shot and killed in that tavern over the weekend. To talk to me more about the impact and the effect that this has had on the family is his sister Mbumi um, Chirua. Sister Mbumi, you tavern. Uh, I just received a call in the morning. Apparently, my sister was trying to call me the whole um, night uh, around 12, so I couldn't get the call. So around 7, she called. Then I received that call to say, please come, rush home. And I asked her, what's wrong? Is mommy okay? And uh, my brother, is, are they okay? And she said, yes, but please uh, uh, come home. So we, we ran home from uh, 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 um, across where we are staying. And... Um, she told us that um, my, my brother is late. He was one of the guys that were shot in that tavern. Mm -hmm. So when we came on the scene, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's all I can say now. What did you see on the scene? Um, there, were, there were a lot of police, like um, forensics, police, and, and the community at large was there. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't see the, 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 the bodies, of course, yeah. Um, I, how are you feeling about this tragedy? You live in this community. How are you feeling about it? Or oh, your brother was living here at least. Um, it's not safe at all here. It's not safe at all because even even on the day, on Saturday before this uh, this tragic happened, we had those guns. But it's something that we are used to, so we didn't take it that serious because it's something that we always hear. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know that uh, 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 our, our, our families were part of what was happening, that, that's shooting the... Mm -hmm. So it's not safe, that's all that I can say. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Luang was your brother. How will you remember him? Um, what kind of person was he? A very loving, warm person, very hardworking. He would do anything to make sure that his family was okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. And in terms of the investigations, we know that police were at the scene for most of yesterday. Have you heard any details um, with regards to why this happened or what transpired? No, ma'am. We heard nothing so far. There's nothing that we, we were told about what happened today. There's nothing. Is there anything you'd like to say? The minister is coming here to address this community. Is there anything that you personally as a family would like to say to the minister? Safety. Here there's no electricity, number one. So even my brother would go there to watch TV. My brother would go there to play pool. So it's not, some, it's not a place where they would just go to get some drinks only there, but they would distress there. You know? So there's no safety because there's no electricity. It's always dark. So you can imagine around 10 what's happening here. Because even around at 6 p.m., people already are locking themselves in because it's not safe at all. Thank you so much, Mpumichiro, and the condolences to your family. Um, that's Mpumichiro, who's the brother, or oh, the sister rather, of Dali Wong Amluma, one of those who passed away tragically at the, tav the local tavern here in Orlando East. He's just saying, he's, she's calling on the minister to ensure the safety of people here, saying that there is no electricity, so it's dark. And people don't only go to the tavern to drink, but they go there because 
It has generators, so therefore they, they can be entertained in the form of television, for example, or to play pool. We are expecting the minister to be uh, briefed by the Orlando East Police Station around 10 o'clock this morning, and thereafter is expected to come and address this community about what the police have been able to, to uncover in their com um, um, investigations of this tragedy. tragedy. Yeah. Zikona, I suppose another very important uh, question which might uh, come under the spotlight as you were speaking and interacting to, with uh, um, the, your guest, she spoke about how residents don't feel safe. The issue of safety and what police will do to ensure that residents are safe is a question that one can expect to be posed to the minister this morning. Certainly, a lot of people that we spoke to here at the sea, around the scene yesterday raised the issue of the fact that there is no visible policing in this area, and they were saying that they're calling on police to patrol the streets. So certainly, that will be one of the most urgent issues that this community will want to put to the minister. How is the minister going to ensure that the policing problems that the community has raised are addressed going forward? to make sure that the, the events that took place over the weekend are not repeated. People here saying they want police on the ground, they want police to go inside taverns just to make sure that people are safe. As the, the sister has mentioned, there is no electricity here, so when it's dark, people are vulnerable to being victims of crime. Very well, let's uh, leave it there for now. Zikona Chona reporting live from Orlando, Eastern Soweto, ahead of Police Minister Begitela's visit to that area.